So this is Slicer. Um, I have very little idea how to use this program properly and I bodged my way through. Um, Slicer is incredibly complicated looking uh, and here's how I managed to get an STL file from my brain. So I saved my extracted brain as a region of interest and it saved it uh, from Mango in a nifty format. And that's one of the formats that Slicer can open. So I navigate there and open that file, nifty format, as a volume. And Slicer has viewing capabilities similar to Mango. Because this is a region of interest, it's a, a one, a single bit map. There's only one bit of information for each voxel in this image, so there's no sort of internal structure. Um, You'll see how complicated Slicer is when I show you the modules list and tell you that you need to begin in the editor. Um, we need to create a merge label map. I have no idea what that means, but it worked for me. So following along, uh, click on apply. Now, um, what we're going to do now is use this icon here, which is called the threshold effect. And we're basically going to create a volume which um, extracts the single bit of information from the voxels in my brain and all those bits have a value of one so when I threshold the range from one to one only my brain flashes in the uh, in the 3d views here and I'm going to label this with the label number one you need that in the next step so apply those settings and you get a uh, part of the space uh, in one of these label maps and then go to the model maker module. Uh, we, I found out that you need to create a model hierarchy and then set the parameters choosing the same number for the labels that you chose in the previous setting and when you do that Slicer works away and creates something called model one tissue um, I couldn't work out the 3D view how to see this, but I did find that when you click on save, you can select only your tissue and you can save hallelujah in STL format. And that's the format that you need for 3D printing.